Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about accepting a job. <laughs> so let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, would you decide whether or not to accept an offer depending on whether the company uses cloud computing or not? Uh, that depends on the use case, I would say. I would rephrase the. I, I would change this slightly, and I would say no. I don't think that that in of itself, because it's too it's too one dimensional for me. Because there are more things to consider. Uh, the thing that would make me decide whether or not this descent if, if, if I accept an offer or not has more to do with what like what's the overall profile of the company's tech stack. If I mean it's not always just about the tech, of course, but it's a big factor for me at the very least. Because if I know that, as an example, if I know that the company is using a tech stack that is well, it's basically never gonna. Yeah, I'm never gonna have a return on investment on learning that thing unless it's something that I'm truly curious about. Well, then I might not take that job because it's. Uh, well, fundamentally, it's not really. It's it's. There's no benefit for me uh, because the 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 sad truth is that the things that you spend your time doing as a software developer are the things that are going to have the uh, it's the thing that's going to live with you if you do primarily front-end work it's always going to be easier for you to become a front-end developer or if you do back-end it's the same sort of deal right the more you do something the more i'm not saying locked in but potentially locked in you might be in that role uh, because that is what your cv is saying that is what like most people are gonna see when they meet you and so forth you know you have a history if that makes sense and if you have a history of working in something that is irrelevant it's really not much different from lowering your value if that makes sense it's uh, it's like a company uh, the valuation of a company if you if you decide to I don't know sell products that almost nobody buys or so forth you're not going to make as much revenue or like your money the evaluation of your company is going to go down because it's simply not something that is in demand and so i suggest that's why you should tell people that uh, it's a good idea it's not always a ca the case that yes because you, i mean for example you can work in some language that might not be super mainstream and still be absolutely fine there's no you don't have to worry as much about that but the way that i think about it is more as i said in terms of relevancy because the relevancy is the thing that gives you the maximum amount of hireability and market value and so that for me it's always a balancing act what in like what do i want to do like what's important to me uh, in terms of fun tools to work with and so forth and what uh, do I actually need to add to my career or like to my portfolio of skills in order to be more effective at my job or be more like, attractive in the marketplace and so forth because I think that it's uh, it's it's important for people to have an understanding of that uh, you are ultimately responsible for your own career there is no uh, like, and that's why I, I've talked to a few of my old coworkers who have like these almost borderline like they are so loyal to companies that uh, I mean it's very admirable to a certain degree but at the same time it's also a little bit damaging to them because uh, uh, as I've told them before it's you're sort of uh, you are uh, you in some cases you are giving very important time to an organization that is it's still a job and if they need to get rid of you they will get rid of you and the thing that you should always be mindful of is before you make those sorts of really strong investments it's a good idea in my opinion at the very least for you to be certain that you can survive that because for them it's most likely not going to be personal it's not usually the case uh, like depending on why you might get sacked or so forth but it, they're gonna do that and then it's on you to sort of stand on your own two feet and so it's very important to for, I think for you to think about this as a bit of an investment game where if you start working for a company there's always a trade-off to everything and you need to look at what is this investment going to gain, give you 
because when you're done with it or if you know when you get the next job what what are you going to leave that company with what is it going to tell the next employer and the that that game is pretty good at being uh, it's good to figure that game out a little bit and it's one of those things that comes with experience where you sort of learn what things are relevant within IT and you sort of know the ecosystems and you know what people are using you know what they value you know what they're looking for and so forth and so forth and when you know all of these things you sort of know like you get a gut sensation of this is a good company to go into this is a good company to go into this is a bad company to go into etc etc based on usually how they do work what people are you dealing with within the, you know, in the space that's a little bit more difficult because you actually have to talk to people and like get to know them a little bit before you realize that sort of stuff and like how are they running the company etc etc and then of course what technologies are they using when you get all these sorts of uh, experiences after a few companies you start to see a red thread through the whole thing and that is uh, it's a good thing to have with you. Uh, I would suggest you master that skill fairly quickly uh, because it's going to serve your long-term ambitions very, very well. So what I want you to take away from this is that, no, I wouldn't say that just because somebody's not using cloud computing, I would say that that's not an interesting company because, they, I mean, for all we know, if in this scenario it could be they're working with robotics or embedded systems or maybe they are just working with some type of... Uh, small scale setup where like they for them well it doesn't have to be a small scale setup it could be in like a gigantic super corporation but they have on-prem computers either for due to security reasons or legacy reasons and cloud computing is uh, although it's very good for you to know about it because it's a very big trend and your market value goes up if you have an understanding of these things it's not like the only thing that you should be looking at I suggest to you that you instead think about the holistic picture of the companies that you associate yourself with and start thinking in terms of what type of profile do you want to build up for yourself and your long-term career if your ambition is to work as well with cloud computing and be like applicable for most operations work or most DevOps stuff and so forth then yeah then this is probably not a good place for you to work if your ambition is to just be a fairly strong front-end developer then it doesn't really matter if it's cloud computing or not because it's not really within your area if your ambition it's the same thing I do I mean if my ambition is to run gigantic IT companies or like be applicable to uh, not just to you know talk the talk as I like to say uh, but actually walk the walk as well at the levels where you're basically in charge of entire like uh, hundreds of people then you might need to consider uh, working in, a, in an environment where those sorts of experiences are going to come your way like you're gonna see how it's done either by looking at somebody else or at least being in the environment so you sort of learn right so these are the sorts of people that I would be dealing with or like these are the sorts of things that I need to learn in order to be good at this thing so I think that that's the way you should think about it more uh, think about each each company that you join as an investment and always consider what you are trading away and what you're gaining from each time that you uh, look at an offer that's a very good idea, I think. Have a great day.